digital maturity benchmark which is a framework developed by google it is free and it was created in collaboration with bcg which is boston consulting group and anyone with a gmail id can use this for their company now the good thing about this benchmarking is if you are a beginner who started at his job if you are a startup agency or if you are a cmo of a multi-billion dollar company it is important for you to know this and all of you can utilize this for your benefit now this benchmarking is straightforward it works in two step the first step is you fill a kind of a survey once you answer all these questions which takes around 10 to 15 minutes this survey gives you a report and a score so the score is from 1 to 4 and they have different names if you are at 1 2 3 4 means the best it also tells you that in your region and in your industry what kind of scores does your competitors have so which gives you an understanding that how behind or ahead of your competition you are now before we jump into the video i just want to give a quick shout out to the sponsors of this video who is orange trail now basically what orange trail does is they help you if you are facing issues with scalability compliance or any other kind of issues that hinder your digital marketing campaigns and operations or even if you are not facing any issues so far but you want to make sure that you don't face these kind of issues in near future orange trail is something you should consider i highly recommend their service orange trail are a google premium partner and they help you set up google ads accounts not just google ads they will help you set up facebook ads accounts twitter tiktok snapchat and basically all major platforms now if you're wondering what is the benefit working with orange trail let me quickly explain if you set up accounts with orange trail they are harder to get blocked you also have unlimited spends 24 hours five days support and they can also get you support from let's say google ads or facebook ads because they have direct lines with them because as an aggregate they spend a lot of money with these companies they can get you special white listing for certain features for example for tiktok all geos are unlocked you can get special allow listing for twitter and for some clients if you're spending huge amounts because they can get you 2.5 percent rebate you can use the link in the description below to go to their website to know more set up a consultation call to understand how they can help you okay with that out of our way so in order to do digital mature Maturity benchmarking you have to go to this website digital maturity benchmark dot with google.com link in the description below so the moment you land on the website you will see that it will tell you something about the digital maturity benchmark the survey was created in partnership with bcg which is one of the biggest uh, if not the biggest consulting groups in the world and then um, you can directly click on start now to start the survey but just go here and try to understand a bit more for example if you click on this button here which is why maturity why you should use they have a lot of details to convince you that why you should use this it's free anyways you don't have to pay anything and then if you scroll down there are the businesses outperform their peers it will tell you how businesses have used these kind of surveys and the results from these to uh, kind of uh, benefit and then it will show tell you a little bit about their benchmarking uh, for example these are the stages if you have score up to one you are nascent and then uh, if you have score from two to three you are emerging connected and the goal should be to reach multi-movement which is score of four then they'll tell you that how do they assess you based on different kind of categories access automation assets analytics audience and stuff like that then you can go here and click on start assessment now once you click here enter your organization name let eToro let's say i'm just testing it for eToro is our hypothetical client you will select your industry select your industry uh, accurately because uh, the questions might change and also your score related to your computers will also change because if you are in one particular industry you might not be you might not have to do a lot in terms of uh, let's say attribution and reporting or audience or type of campaigns but if you are let's say e-commerce it's important for you to run shopping campaigns and it will affect the questions there and um, your score so i will select let's say financial uh, and insurance other which country it's also important to select the country because it will gauge you with your competitors based on your region so click on progress my assessment very straightforward so far and you can change your language here and fill out the assessment so you can to share digital copy if you have to share it with your manager or anyone you can just copy this link and share it with anyone everyone will be able to access the report here as well as probably collaborate on this report where should you send the results once you are done so you can put any email address here now next what you are going to see here is you will see a form they'll ask you 
I think five questions in each category. I have never counted the questions. So for example, the first one here is organization. They'll ask you generally that at what level in your organization is data driven marketing champion. For example, in so certain companies, let's say real estate client, they have one guy taking care of all digital marketing and his manager who is an operations manager does not know anything about data driven marketing, right? Just select the relevant one basically. And then uh, which of the following uh, ways of working are consistently followed your in organization so i'll not go through all of these questions so you, whatever is relevant for your business let's say just select that here and once you answer all these questions in organization you will click on next and it will take you to the next but one important thing to understand here and remember here is so basically if you select the first answer that means you are not digitally mature right in this particular category if you select the last one that is the probably that means that your company is like uh, digitally very mature right so one thing to understand here is whenever you are filling this for example we are in organization uh, section now before you click on next what you have to do is just uh, print the page let's say you do control p and print the whole page because later you will be able to go through these questions and it will also maybe help you to understand okay to answer the next one for example in this case if you want to increase your digital maturity let's say i want to go to this step sponsored by mid management which means that you have to train mid management right so these are the things uh, which will later help you if you want to go to question wise otherwise they will give you uh, actionable items as well but then these this is important i do it all the time just print this page with after you mark your answers because it will really uh, become easy for you then click on next one it will ask you access we which of the following best describes how you buy digital media we mainly buy directly from publishers we mainly buy programmatically using open auction so once you do all these options then it will take you to the audience section it will ask you how you are collect, collecting audiences how you are uh, using audiences then attribution what kind of analytics you use have you goals set up and a lot of detailed questions so basically once you are done you will get an email and with a survey result now what that result looks like is this for example this will be your report it takes like half an hour to get this report and then it will show you for example the test I did uh, for SWRA was it says your digital maturity level is emerging now emerging is from 1 to 2 now it also tells me that in my region in my industry the average is 1.6 so I am behind average maturity in our so all the come other companies in my country and in my niche and industry they the average is 1.6 so i'm very behind right so the industry best is four sometimes in certain industries you will see the best is three 3.2 2.9 because it's very difficult to become like digitally mature come uh, total digitally mature in those kind of industries but in my industry because i selected my industry as education online courses so it's very easy to be at four so this gives you kind of an idea and then it will tell you in six dimensions that how your maturity is maybe you are very good at reporting and attribution but you're not good at media buying or using audiences so you can go here and select each of these and it will tell you in terms of analytics and measurement what was your to overall uh, basically the summary of your company and in this particular category it will show you what is your score for example i'm nascent in uh, overall i am uh, our company is emerging but in terms of analytics and measurement it i only have a score of 0.4 which is uh, nascent then it will tell you what you need to do to in improve your scores so for example measure the true value of your marketing activities move to an attribution model that's not click based so this is one actionable item right so if i was to create a project sheet for this for my hypothetical business the first project would be uh, move away from click based attribution in Google Analytics and Google Ads and all the platforms. So that will be the first project, right? Similarly, you can go to other uh, sections here, assets and ads, for example, it will tell you probably it was telling me that I have to use DCO, uh, dynamic creative optimization and all of these things. So once you're done with this report and you get a report like this is basically what you have to do is you have to just copy them and make a list of all the recommendations in all the sections you received, right? And also go back to the questions you just uh, copied and your answers and see if there is an opportunity to move from the your answer to the next level, right? 
create a sheet list all of them and see which ones are the most easy ones for you to kind of improve your score and start working on it create a list like this maybe depending on how uh, eager you are and how much resources you have put a quarterly or half yearly or yearly plan let's say for example this client we did five i can say okay if i'm eager we can do seven in the first half of the year or we don't have resources let's take it slow we can just do only three so you in the list obviously you'll have a lot just choose the ones which have the highest impact and which are the easiest to do so that's why if you see the template i use for project sheet this i uh, put impact and category so that we can always check that okay this one is related to optimization this one is related to innovation this has high impact so probably we should first finish this and this one has let's say low impact and this is related to creative maybe if we are delayed on any of those this one can wait for a while and then also always uh, you can basically buy this template as well but it's not that difficult to just create you already looked at it you can just create your own you have to choose who will be the owner basically not just lie there okay you know what next half year we are doing this project it never works assign an owner for each subtask divide this task break it down into subtasks let's say to start shopping ads for senator we run ads we need to first create google merchant center then create facebook catalog ads or catalog then connect the site feed with the merchant center then test a campaign evaluate and see see the results and decide okay are we going to roll it out across let's say all our products or product categories if you have multiple websites whatever and then uh, document everything here the result links or if there is a practitioner guide or a health center article which you think somebody working on this might be helpful list them here just create like each subtask which month it will be done for example here this will be done global if you are present in multiple markets you might want to roll it out let's say in india first or uh, similar like you can just in your schedule mention each subtask when it will be finished and which country if you have multiple websites which website which you will test it first and similarly work your way out now it will give you those actionable items which you can directly translate into the first project sheet which i showed you so what i do is whenever i start working on a client the first thing i do is i do this digital maturity benchmarking for them translate and take out what are the projects i need to do to make sure their business is future proof and they have higher digital maturity in six months and one year so we create these kind of plans now obviously it will give you a lot of recommendations but you have to just pick things which are possible for you for example if it tells you go for a dmp or a cdp but your company does not have funds so you basically choose what are the brownie points for you which are the easiest let's say six or four or eight projects and then create a project sheet to track progress and then come back and evaluate that is how it is done so i am reiterating again if you are a business owner you need to have do this for your business so that you get a clear roadmap that how do you ensure digital marketing setup is relevant now and how to enhance it and how to still have it relevant in the near future with all of the changes that are that we are anticipating if you are an agency owner or you are a freelancer this is what you need to do with every client just don't go and just start running their campaigns and tell them you know what we can make this change in the targeting and stuff like that and then basically not have a clear roadmap so this is something you can use and i guarantee you that you will keep your clients hooked for a very long time and i really hope that this was helpful for you in any way thank you so much i will see you in the next one